What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kazo. It always smells good when you have some incense in your kitchen burning. Today we're going to make Kezo's tea. I'm going to show y'all how to make Kezo's tea. Not hard to do, very easy. The problem is, you got to get just the right amount of lemon juice. And you got to get just the right amount of sugar. You get the right amount of sugar and you get the right amount of, or I uh, want to get the right, right amount of fucking lemon juice. Well, we can start the process. But before we do that, we gotta have a cigarette like always. We're gonna go and fill up two jugs. Might not be able to see this too well, but. I use myself Arizona iced tea jugs. They work the best, I think. Because they're a gallon each, or maybe this is, yeah, a gallon each. <clears throat> then I'll take one gallon. Water, probably can't see it here, but. Try to use hot water, works the best because you're boiling the water anyway. You can see on my jugs that I got a. Uh, but. You can see on my jug that I got a, a thing that says right there, lemon tea. And on the back here, it says no water or whatever, because that's how I was doing it at first when I started doing it first. But now I figured it out, got a pattern down to it, so I know how to do it. Well, this makes two gallons. Two gallons of tea is what you'll make out of this. I'll give you directions on how to do it. You'll have everything accordingly if you want to make this. And this, see, I'm telling you, this tea is fucking awesome. Like everybody that comes over to my house, I'm like, dude, can I have some of your tea? Can I have some of your tea? Can I have some of your tea? All the time, okay, the kids and shit, can I have some of your tea? Like, they always want some of my tea because, dude, it's... And the way I made it, because I had a thing of Arizona iced tea, no, not, not Arizona, um, Lipton's or something, I don't know, some shit. And it had lemon in it. <clears throat> it was half and half. I was like, alright, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own for that. So, I wind up doing that. I'm going to show you how I did it right now. So you got your water. Okay. Now we're going to turn on the oven. Put it on high, high heat. So let that sit. All right, till it comes to a boil. Before we do that, I come over and get the special recipe. This right here, black tea. That's what you want to use, the black tea. Take the black tea out. You want to get you 10 of them. So, that's two, four, six, eight. Ten. Take those, dump those in the water just like that. Mix them around. That there. Take your shot there. Thing you hear. People can't help it around like this. To talk. My daddy's from North Carolina. Mama's from New York. Living on and off the Greyhound Transit bus. I learned that. You want that to come to a boil. When that comes to a boil, you want to get your secret recipe. And that, this right here. Sugar with lemon juice. But it's not an easy task to do. You don't just take the lemon and say, okay, well, I'm going to just dump the lemon juice in the pot and then dump the tea in the pot. There's a chemistry to it. Got this cup right here, which this cup is a piece of shit, but it, does, it works for me, so whatever. And then I got this, like, um, meatloaf pan. So what you want to do is you want to take your sugar and put your sugar in here and then put your sugar into this. Okay? So we're gonna do that now. 
When you're trapped in the surface of the world unknown I'm taking so many damn rocky cliffs in my lifetime By now I should already have lost my motherfucking mind From losing my job and not being able to see my son I'm always putting others before myself until my time is done I'm hanging like on that. to a rock that's about to break I Okay, now comes really, not really the tricky part, but This is the lemon juice deal The lemon juice deal is kind of tricky, but not really You gotta... Give me a lemon juice. What I'm gonna do right now. You can do and then, well, my cup's busted, so it's gonna run all over the fucking place. So what you want to do is you want to get that on the three fourth mark, which is right there. You probably can't see; it's probably a little hard to see, but the three fourth is right here. So you want to put that on three fourth. So you wanna. Well, I'm gonna put it in here because obviously it's gonna run all over the fucking place. Cause this strain is oh, this fucking measuring cup is a piece of shit. But anyway, you wanna go like this. Right up to three, four, bam, right there. Three, four. Now see it drips all over the place because it's a piece of shit. But you wanna dump it in there like that. Discard that because you're not gonna need that no more. Take your spatula thing. Mix it around like this. You want to open your refrigerator. Got my own apartment now, so it's pretty cool. And you want to put find a space for it. Well, like I said, I got some more tea back there. I can't see a lot. Put some more. I only got one one jug left, but there's another jug there that I gotta probably make. Probably gonna make another one. All right, so you let that sit in there for about ah roughly five minutes, I want to say, or until this boils. When this boils up, then you. Take it, yeah. Dump it down into there. I'll show you how that's done here in a little bit. I gotta make to make sure this boils first. Okay, and we're back. And see how that tea's boiling up right now? Almost there. Like I said, you just want to make sure it boils up. Okay, <clears throat> after we're done boiling it, we want to take the mixture that we had, make sure it's cold, yep, then it's cold as hell, because it's been sitting in there for a while, and you want to take that and you want to dump that in here. Now watch out when you do this, because sometimes it will overflow, it will blow up on you, well not blow up, but... It will start. Okay, yeah, just change the color. Just change the color of the tea. Because you got that lemon and you got that sugar in there. Just put it in there like that. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Try not to. Put it in there like that. So now we're done with the pan because all the sugar is out of the pan now. I believe. Yep. All the sugar's out of the pan. So now we're done with that. So now comes the part where you take a strainer. Or not a strainer, or a fucking, uh, I don't know what the fuck is that, or a funnel. Take a funnel. And you want to use your funnel inside these. And you have to funnel the tea into those, and you're funneling boiling tea, so be fucking careful because it's really fucking hot. You're funneling boiling tea into these. I don't know if I want to do this on camera because I might even burn myself doing it. Alright, hold on a second. Let me go grab the teapot and put it over here. Put it in your sink like that. So put your tea into the sink like that right there so you don't make a fucking mess all over the place because when I used to do it before, I put it on the counter right here and I'd just have a fucking mess all over the counter. Tea everywhere and water everywhere and all kinds of shit. Okay, so you got your thing like that with the funnel inside there like that. Okay, now mind you, this is really fucking hot tea. So we want to come over here and grab this uh, 
this pan and we want to just strain the tea out of it I woke up in the morning had an epiphany and everything was blurry it was so hard to see I saw my life how it is and how it could be and all I have to do is find a fundamental key and sooner or later the hardest part is trying to mix the ingredients and see you know what how the uh, the levels the the, uh, the chemistry of it, the uh, not really the chemistry, but the um, the measurements. You want to make sure the measurements are right. If the measurements aren't right, it's not going to come out right, and it's going to taste like shit. But if you do exactly what I told you to do, it will come out just like I make, and you will have no problem whatsoever, and it will be fucking good as shit. I'm not lying. Like it is the best tea I think I've ever had in my life. And then you just cap it off like this. So there's one. It's hot as hell. We want to go get number two. The second one. So now I just made two gallons of Kazo tea. You want to make sure you discard these uh, tea bags too. Because they get in the way when you're trying to uh, strain it. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. The tea bags get in the way. So you want to discard those tea bags, so. If you're thirsty anytime or whatever, your friends come over or anything like that. Yeah, man, I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Well, okay, you can drink. I got some tea that you, that you can drink. And then they drink it and they're like, holy shit, like, what the fuck did I just drink? You know, and I'm not lying when I say that either. This stuff is really, really, really good. I didn't even want to give you guys the recipe to it. Because it's so damn good, and I made it myself. But you know, you guys are my YouTube, you know, followers or whatever. So I'm gonna let you know what I do, teach you how I do things. All right, like that there. Cap it off like this here. Open up your refrigerator. My kitchen's smelling really good right now. Probably gonna have to make another one too because <clears throat> I might only make one, one on that one. If you're gonna make one, you wanna use five bags. If you're gonna make two, you're gonna use ten bags. So I'll just put that out there. So you take your tea, put it in your refrigerator. Take your other tea, put it in your refrigerator. Like that there. Let it cool. And once it cools down, you can drink it hot if you want. It's up to you. If you wanna drink it hot, you can also drink it hot, but it's up to you, but I, I mean, it's good, hot, cold, whatever, it doesn't matter, shit, I'm about to drink some right now, <clears throat> and, um, that's how you go about making queso tea, so I'm glad I helped you out, if you guys, you know, you want something to drink or whatever, if you ever need something to drink, and you need an easy, easy way to drink something or whatever, and you don't have, you don't, uh, have no money or whatever, go to the store, to go, you know, go buy a, a soda or whatever like that, you just make homemade tea, and like I said, the way you make it, well, it comes out delicious, D delicious I'm about to even have myself a sip hold on a minute okay then what I do is I take it out of my Arizona fucking bottle and I'll dump it into this glass these glasses are awesome if you ever get a chance get one they're fucking wicked awesome you can buy them at the store they're called Argo or yeah Argo tea if you ever get a chance check them out because they're the best glasses to use especially for this stuff you just put it in there like that Cap it off. Put that there. Take your tea, put it back in the refrigerator. Bam, and it goes. Take your tea out. They're easy to undo too, like do it one hand, no big deal. And then That's delicious. That is delicious. It's almost like you're eating a lemon, but it has like a little bit of <clears throat> water. Well, obviously it's water. It's like you're eating a lemon mixed with like, I don't know, you just have to try some. It's really, really, really good. Another key too, you have a hangover in the morning. Drink two glasses of this. 
and you will not have a hangover no more. And you won't throw up, and you won't, none of that shit, how, you know, usually when you have a hangover, you're like, oh, I don't feel good, man, I'm too drunk to, you know, do it. Look what I got in here. Got a whole 24 rack of fucking beer, too. That I'll probably be drinking tonight. Got that one right there, right there. And I got some more right there. So I got my beer count, too. But, uh, like I said, if you got a hangover or anything like that, best remedy would be some Kazo tea. Alright, y'all. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what's going on. Uh, I know I ain't made a video in a while. But, uh, this is my Kazo tea video. So, uh, check it out. Make some. Enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.